Hey everybody, welcome to Coffee with Key from Key Digital University. Grab a coffee or your drink of choice and we'll give you some useful information in the time that it takes you to finish. Let's go ahead and begin today's lesson on our KDBYOD 4K wireless presentation system. Wireless is super in demand right now. Why? Because finally you can install wireless products, wireless video products, in your Pro AV applications with confidence, the quality, the reliability have all reached high points in the technology for wireless um, casting and wireless HDMI technologies. And so we've got a product here that allows you to cast wirelessly to a projector or a screen in the huddle room, conference room, or classroom, for example, any kind of collaboration room, uh, even a pop-up presentation that might just be uh, something that's not an installed room, but a uh, uh, like in a ballroom, for example, at those projectors, this is often used a lot. And users are going to be able to come in and present without any wires. So no more dongles, no more, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have that connection type uh, here in our conference room. Um, Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and Chrome, the big five, all covered with KD BYOD 4K. It even allows you to have multiple presenters at the same time as we'll show you here. So it's really not just a presentation tool, but it's also a collaboration tool, uh, perfect for brainstorming meetings, uh, along with the annotation and whiteboard features you see here. Um, <clears throat> it also... Um, is known for its smooth video casting. That's right. There's some other products out there that don't cast as smooth uh, when you're doing some kind of video. Uh, however, KDBYOD 4K utilizes its own proprietary technology called KD Play. This technology is actually quite simple. We're just taking 30 screenshots per second of your device and transmitting it wirelessly over your network. Sounds uh, sounds easy, right? Um, that's what we're doing. And, and that's how we're getting 30 frames per second video. Um, it's output at up to 4K at 60 frames per second. That's a 10 gigabits per second 4K. But there's actually a variety of uh, resolutions that you can choose from, including 1080p of course. And there's also a variety of other connectivity there, perfect for integrating into your uh, conference room if it's uh, if you have an existing uh, Pro AV system, no problem. Or if you're just going directly to the projector or monitor, as I had mentioned before, we're going to describe those connections for you in more detail throughout this quick presentation. Um, but speaking of quick, how do you get started? Well, BYOD 4K includes our auto launching USB. Plug that into your computer. It's going to A, connect to the network, the same network that the BYOD 4K unit is on because it casts over the network. B, it's gonna auto launch the software. C, it's gonna connect to the device. And then all you've got to do is press this green button at the bottom to start mirroring once your desktop is ready to be to present, right? Clean up the desktop, hide anything you don't want the audience to see. Uh, we connect to the unit, but we don't automatically throw your content on the screen through casting. Now, <clears throat> one of these is included per uh, per box and you can purchase more. It's called KD Play FD for like flash drive. But if you don't have that flash drive, um, there is on-screen instructions here that tells you, okay, enter this IP address and you're gonna go to our web browser and you're gonna see a big button that says download for PC or Mac or even Android, you can download the app that way. And so that's another way to get going. Once you download, you once again, do not have to install the software. That's right, there's nothing to install. It's an executable that downloads and you can begin casting. Android also utilizes the KD Play app as we show you here. Uh, you get that from the Play Store or the base unit, as I just described. All of your iOS devices, AirPlay. It's it's easy. It works well. Everybody knows how to do it. And if you have Chrome devices, yes, the K-12 through market, for example, um, just press that dot, 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 
uh, hamburger button and begin uh, cast desktop or cast your browser window to the KD Play screen. You could even name these things, of course, like training room, conference room, as we see on the far left there. The idea is that you have a lot of these. You sell a lot of them. You, you install a lot of them at your end users um, in their corporate buildings, um, places of education, and more. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a collaboration tool as well. So you could have brainstorming sessions. You could have up to four presenters on the screen at the same time. You could actually have up to 16 connections. So they're just going to be in a queue. You could pull out that moderator um, doc that we see on the far right there. And you could go full screen on one or um, or stop casting from another or just stop casting from the device. Very easy to manage. And that moderator doc we're going to show you more about in just a moment. And of course, because it has HDMI, um, as I mentioned, hey, piece of cake, connect it to your projector, connect it to your monitor in the room with the HDMI, you're good to go. But what about an application where, hey, we like wireless, but we also want to have wired or integrating into an existing Pro AV system with the HDMI output. Of course, you're speaking Key Digital's language. Um, this is truly our specialty. What I'm showing you here is our KDPS22 UTX, which has, it's a two input switcher transmitter. So HDMI one from the wireless system, HDMI two from the uh, uh, plug in, bring your own device. And this switcher transmitter even has auto switching. So it could uh, switch over to that wired uh, input anytime that it is present. Um, another cool integration option is to uh, get a dual monitor set up. Uh, from a single laptop here, we're demonstrating um, the extended monitor feature that you see in the KD Play app. That's the, the app that, again, auto launches or, or you grab from the unit. Press this little checkbox for extended monitor. And now what? You can treat it as, as though you had an extend, a connected monitor to your laptop. So you could then drag one side of your uh, laptop to the wireless virtual monitor, if you will. Meanwhile, connect HDMI to the other monitor, either directly to the uh, other monitor or use key digital HDMI extension parts. We have uh, plug and plate transmitters as well that get that job done. And now you've got that dual monitor set up. Some of our products even have USB connectivity on them. So we're in this uh, application, we're actually sending the camera backward to the laptop as well. Very cool stuff. Additional connectivity, network connectivity. There's actually three modes of getting the unit onto your network. Um, as I mentioned, that's how you cast. It's over the network. Out of the box, the BYOD 4K unit has its own Wi-Fi access point. That's that Wi-Fi direct mode that is there in the, uh, this is just a screenshot of the web UI. It's a beautiful, uh, easy to figure out web interface for setting this up. Additionally, you can um, choose Wi-Fi client mode where if this is up at the projector, the BYOD is connected to your network via without any wires at all. So via Wi-Fi. Um, and the device is just connect or just uh, cast to the BYOD unit through your network. And then finally, and perhaps the, the best way of all is the LAN connection mode. If you can have a network cable from your network into the BYOD 4K unit, that's gonna be a wired connection there. And the units once again, cast through your network. You may have noticed there's two network ports. This is really cool. This is for um, connecting the BYOD unit to two networks, to your uh, public network or your guest network, and then to your private network so that employees can cast uh, in the room without having to switch over to that guest network and guests can come in, those vendors or guests that are not always uh, in your office can come in, join your guest network. Uh, you don't have to give them the, the secret passwords and everything, and they could cast uh, without any troubles or con uh, security concerns. Speaking of security, in the, uh, this is the uh, admin menu for the setup, as I mentioned. Okay, this is where you set those network settings, display and audio settings, security. There's three layers of, uh, three levels of security, uh, network security in here. And when you go to the uh, KD BYOD 4K product page, you're going to want to check it out on our website, of course, uh, keydigital.com. Uh, in the menu, you actually are in the manual, rather, there's at towards the end, you, you could walk through the entire admin menu and you could see it's all very, very self-explanatory. Um, 
what else we have multiple connections of is USB. There's one USB 2.0, one 3.0, and one USB-C. Truly, there's no difference between the three um, as far as functionality goes. Uh, you could, these uh, features that I'm about to show you, you could kind of connect to any port to do them. One of them is just to have a mouse connected into the unit. Um, usually it's a wireless mouse, right? Because this is like in a rack somewhere or behind the monitor or at the projector. But at your conference table, you could have this wireless mouse. This will open up that moderator dock, dock for you that you see with the arrow. And uh, then you're able to, any, any of the people casting with the KD Play app can, uh, you could blow their screen up to make it full screen. You can stop uh, one of the presenters. Uh, you can mute and unmute, as you see. What else is cool is if you're casting from a PC or Mac, um, you actually, your mouse clicks as you're over the screen are forwarded to the, to the computer itself. So you wanna choose what's going on here, click it. So it's a way to control the presenting computer without having to be located at it. Perhaps in your meeting, somebody's at the podium, they walk over to the table, click, click from the table. Um, and imagine then, because, you know, what is a touchscreen uh, or touchscreen overlay? It's, it's a mouse, right? It's the location you click and where you click. And uh, so if you have a touchscreen monitor or overlay, connect that to the USB port of KDBYOD 4K. And now that's going to forward to your casting computer. Uh, once again, here at Key Digital, we have a variety of, uh, of signal management for video and also for USB. These are USB 2.0 extenders that you will um, find very useful for extending USB way beyond the spec of USB 2.0 of 15 meters, no, five meters, excuse me. You can go 50 meters with this. Lastly, but not least, audio. We're thinking, you know, at Key Digital, we're thinking about full system designs. And so we do see here the uh, audio output on a 3.5 millimeter stereo port, perfect for integrating into an amplifier. For example, our amplifier, KD Amp 220, which also has a microphone direct in with phantom powering. You can mix the mic in with the presenter's audio from their computer and uh, really just make a fantastic solution for your client. So there you have it. Uh, we appreciate your time. Um, if you have any questions, shoot them over to us, please sales at keydigital.com is where you're going to want to send that to. And uh, I hope this has been a very useful time for you. Have a great rest of your day.